Hi everyone, today I want to show you one of the easiest and best ways to do lookups in Excel. Index match combination of functions is extremely useful and very, very commonly used by analysts and others that use Excel. It's just a very easy way to look up data in large sets and don't have as many limitations like VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP. This, this is able to do either way. So it's a very useful tool, a very easy function to, to figure out and to use. And so we're going to quickly walk through it today and kind of show you a very, very simple example of how to use it and hopefully allow you to be able to, to develop the tool to, to use in your own world. But first thing we want to do is the formula here. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking an index fun function, which is you're indexing from a, a, an array of data. So, you know, the rows and the columns, and then it's looking up a, a row number and a column number. So typically what you could do if we were just to do an index function, we'll do index there, this is our, our array of data. So we'll hit comma there. What's the row number? So it would start off with row one would be the top, the north, two, three, et cetera. And then columns would be one, two, three, four as well. So we'll do, we'll look up the south February number. So we'll do number two. So now it's asking for the column number, which we know it is number two because it's that February right there. So we'll do two there as well. And we'll hit enter and you'll see that it's gonna pull that 617 for us, which is awesome. So we can easily find that number, very, very simple function to use. But let's say we don't want our row and our columns hard-coded into our formula. And let's say you have a, a large data set that you're gonna be bouncing around trying to identify different numbers. So what we'll do, we'll just start over here with our index function. So we'll just leave uh, equals index and then hit tab. So again, it's gonna ask for the array. And so the array is just the data that you're pulling, that you're looking for, that you're trying to identify the data from. So we'll just hit our array there. What we're gonna do, we'll just hit our comma there, and then we'll look up, uh, the next thing we have to do is match. So uh, again, the match is essentially just the row number. So what we have to do is we, we have our comma, so we're gonna just enter match. And then so the lookup value, so this would be the one number you're looking up in terms of the rows. So because I kind of have this broken out by date and then region, we're just going to use our rows here. So I'm going to click the region button, which is blank right now. We'll get to that in just a second. And then the lookup array. So the lookup array is going to be those, those headers that you're going to be looking for, you know, north, south, east, or west from, from that data set. So then we'll go ahead, we'll hit zero, lookup, or excuse me, match type. We'll just do exact. And then we'll do a close parentheses and another comma. And now we have to do the same thing with the column, the date. So it's going to ask for, for what we want to do is again, match. So it's going to match whatever we're looking for in terms of the column headers there into that array. So lookup value, we're going to put the date and then the lookup array. Again, it's just going to be what we're trying to look up that month from. So it's just this range of dates here. Then we'll hit another column. We'll do a zero because for an exact match and then close parentheses and that will close our match function, but we also need to close the index. So we'll just do another parenthesis there and we'll hit enter. So again, it's showing us an NA, but that's because we don't have dates here. So what we want to do, we'll just go ahead and do February and in South, the South region. So again, there it is. It pulls our 617. So from our row data here, it's pulling the second data, but instead of the second data, we're matching it to the south. So it's going to find the south match. So we know that's that's row two. And then with the match of the month, which is February, so it's pulling 617. So again, it's just very, very simple here if you just follow the formula. Uh, you know, what's the array? Where are you pulling from? You don't want to have your headers or whatever your match is going to be in that array. You'll just do it inside of those uh, criteria. And then you'll want to do your row match first. Make sure you don't get that backwards or else it won't work first. So you're going to do, as you're doing the formula again, as you're doing the match, you want to make sure you do the rows first. Uh, that it's going to be the lookup and then the columns again because it will not look up properly. And so what we can do now, let's just say we want to do May, you know, in the mid region. So May in the mid region is 278, which is what we have here. And so again, you can go ahead and, and plug this formula into other data sets or other formulas if you are trying to do an array and look up different sets of data. So it's super useful, very, very helpful in terms of looking up 
data analysis as you're trying to do lookup values for, for data. So again, I hope this was helpful. Uh, please let me know what additional questions you have or if there is another example you'd like to see or if I can explain it in a different way, please let me know. And please remember to subscribe to the Excel guy. Thanks and have a great day.